Okay, let's see how it goes. Oh no, bad. Uh, we need a lot more control than we've got here. I could probably have put those winglets on or something. Okay. This career mode stuff is tough with uh, hard mode. Uh, I'm not even in a proper anything going on here. Oh man. Okay, we are going in a polar orbit. <laughs> not by choice. Not by choice. We have ended up going into a polar orbit. And that's just how it's going to be. At least that'll increase the possibility we can bring Valentina down into some interesting location. Okay, looks like we're doing better on orbit right now. I think we could get, uh, get Valentina down somewhere where she can do some science. Okay, Valentina has made it to orbit. Finally. Okay, now what I want to do is get her to this desert here. So no, it does, won't take that long. Is it possible to get KSP.25 still or no? I didn't see it. Uh, it would be nice for them to release the older versions. There are some versions I missed. Of course, all the free versions are already out, you know, the before point, uh, well, one point one three and before. And maybe releasing the alpha and beta stuff will be good too. Yeah, I started playing in point one eight, and so I have everything from point one eight onward. You lost point one eight to point two two? Well, that is a sad thing, because... There's nostalgia there. There's nostalgia. I wouldn't want to play them at length, but there's nostalgia there. Uh, are most of the mods in my colonization series updated to 0 0.90? The mods themselves, because uh, Rover Dude was involved in developing 1.0, they're, they're updated all the way to uh, 1.0 now. So, but uh, not far daily reentry. Just, just the rover dude ones. Uh, just the rover dude ones. Um, the some of the other mods still need to be updated. At least you can stall plane land. Yeah, yeah, that was a thing. Uh, it took. You know, here's the irony. Of course, I played Microsoft Flight Simulator for like most of my life. And then I go into KSP and I have to try and learn how they do aerodynamics. And now I have to unlearn what I learned. Because every time I fired up KSP, I, I now think of aerodynamics, at least with Kerbin, not with uh, FAR and daily reentry and Earth. But at least, anytime I see Kerbin in front of me, I, I think in terms of, of that crazy aerodynamic, uh, pseudo aerodynamics. And now I have to unlearn that. Yeah. Rain plays. Rain, if you don't mind. Yes, uh, I remember your comment. And uh, glad you could join me here, but I'm not doing a particularly good job. I just got Valentina into orbit and accidentally got her into a polar orbit here. I had gotten Jeb into orbit previously, but Jeb's dead now. I lost Jeb. Jeb died on re-entry. So, uh, yeah, some, some tragedies have occurred. Uh, Jeb died on re-entry because the capsule flipped. Uh, I had the balance wrong and the capsule flipped around so that uh, the capsule was getting all the re-entry heat. Yeah, I know. Uh, I had to take a time out for that one. First space game I had was Microsoft Space Simulator. That that was fun because you could hardly avoid going straight out of the galaxy in that because the way they did time warp yeah KSP is definitely the game of our dreams I think but uh, yeah Microsoft Space Simulator was ridiculous 
Uh, you could time warp to like uh, something like five thousand years to one second or one minute. I forget how it was, so that so that uh, it would accelerate like crazy and shoot out of the galaxy. Orbiter was fun. Orbiter, I never got into. I I've launched this shuttle a few times in Orbiter, and that's about it. Now some of the other ships, yes, you're right. Uh, they're a little bit weird. Not sure what the basis for their abilities are. You know what kind of engineering was involved. They just seemed like, ah, oh, this looks good, and it gets me where I want to go, kind of things. Delta glider was it? Seem to remember that one. But yeah. Oh, I'm getting this texture thing again, where it goes all straight. I wonder what does that, where you get straight lines instead of the proper textures. Okay, time for Valentina to check whether... Yep, we've got deserts. Okay, keep data. Let's board. Let's do a crew report. Okay, keep data. Now EVA. Step off. EVA report. Yep, space suit probably not necessary. But, uh... Good to be safe. I've seen this a lot before, this texture issue, especially on the moon. Okay, 8.5 science earned, 2,000 funds recovered, Valentina advanced to level 1, but we haven't really done anything new. We need to get the Terrier, the LV-909, to its, to its test point. That shouldn't be too hard. And then we can... Let, let's see, how much do we get? Well, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't uh, fulfill that before trying for the moon. Because, well, here's the thing. There's no way we're going to get to the moon without the LV-909. But do we have enough Delta V? The problem with this design is that we don't have a good way to control it. And I can't even put nose cones on here right now. Maybe we can just go with two boosters. Or turn these down and let the main engine fire for longer. Okay, 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 I've got an idea. Let's say that we take... Uh, another 10% off of those and have the main engine go for for a bit longer start out right away okay we'll have to take the risk but honestly folks I think I'm gonna lose career mode at this rate uh, let's go to 50 there so that's 210 and we'll just rely on the LV T45 to for the control. Don't know if it's gonna be enough, but uh, hopefully. And let's try for the moon. Let me call this beta two. I want to try a direct ascent for the moon, but it looks like we're on the wrong side of the planet for that. We'll have to launch in the dark if we want to do that. Oh, forget that. All right, uh, let's have one of the. Let's have Sidri do it. Let's try that. Okay, Sidri, this is going to be fun. Let's see. Shouldn't take more than half. Okay. Alright, we're gonna try and go to the moon, Sidri, and it's probably gonna be a bad thing. Oh, we should turn down the ablator, actually. Hold on, Sidri. I wanna recover and I wanna get rid of some of the ablator. Did they fix the cheaty sod booster decoupler thing where you could just stack a few sod boosters and blow them up right before they burn out? I did not see anything about that. So I don't know anything about that at all. Actually, if we're going to head for the moon, let's not 
do the goo containers. That's extra mass that we don't need to carry around. I feel comfortable with 140 of later. I think that'll be okay. Never tried career or science mode in KSP, but you probably should... Well, certainly more of a challenge than it's ever been before. Yep, I would say it's never been a better time to try career mode. Especially hard mode career mode. Okay, Sidri, let's try for the moon. Let's do a little bit more control here. Okay, well that's a better launch than the previous time. Forgive me if I don't talk right now. It's it's interesting to control this. Okay, we're off. This is intense. You're telling me. This is tough. Okay, that's the end of that stage. Off we go. I don't even know properly how much Delta V this thing has. Okay, I think we're good for a uh, transfer to the moon. We've, I hope we have enough Delta V for that. I think we do. So let's do the traditional thing, waiting for the moon to come up above the horizon, since I can't make a maneuver node right now. I'm going to have to keep watch on electric charge, though. Oh, up, up, there's the moon. Go! Go, Sidri, go! <laughs> yeah, it is exciting knowing that if I miss this, I may not finish career. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Very considerate of you. Here's the trouble. I am i don't even know if I can bring Sidri back properly or even get an encounter. I mean, all I'm hoping is that there's an encounter there, and I don't know for sure. So, let's see, hopefully electric charge isn't going to diminish while we're on time warp here. Looks stable. Oh boy. Come on, slow down, slow down. Moon has to catch up. Moon has to catch up. Come on, let the moon catch up. Okay. Come on, Moon. Do your thing. Okay. Crash course. Ah. Okay. 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 Well, well, we are now cooking with charcoal here. Let's see what this is doing. Edge of your seat, huh? Okay. All right. Well. Yeah, uh, what can I say? Uh, me as well. <laughs> me as well. Okay, we've got a periapsis. I'm not going to try anything fancy like getting into orbit, that's for sure. And we don't have any goo containers, though we probably could have brought some now. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait till periapsis for the crew report. We still haven't unlocked EVAs yet. Okay. Well, we should get a nice close read on the moon. Unfortunately, there's no light, but, you know, whatever you can see, you can see. Uh, transmit. I don't think we have the electric charge. So let's keep it. I intend to bring Sidri back. He is called Sidri, right? Yes. Yes, he's called Sidri. Out we go again. 90,000 funds isn't exactly uh, the muddle load, but 
It'll do for now. Okay, well, saw this coming. That is a wonky orbit. But we just retro burn at apoapsis. Now, what periapsis will allow Sidri to come back without skipping out of the atmosphere? You know, I mean, it's not like we're going to go to escape. So, we could go around. I mean, we can hit the atmosphere once, go around, and hit it again. And it won't be a problem. Let's go 30. Uh, Sidri looks a little bit worried, actually. But I have not particularly learned to trust the... Uh, I buy some Kerbals when it comes to astrophysics. Ooh, you know what's a good question is whether KSP aerobraking calculator is going to be updated for 1.0 because now all the aerobraking stuff is wrong, right? Because that's with stock aerodynamics. And without aerobraking calculator update, we're going to be in trouble. Does the crew die due to g-forces? I don't know. I did not see that happen in any of the streams that I saw with the KSP TV marathon, so I don't know. I, I, I guess I hope we don't find out. Now this is an aero break. Should I ditch the service module? That is my question. I deliberately aimed high. Well, I'm going to keep the surface module on and we will see what's going to happen. Okay, going up. But I actually don't know whether the heat is still accumulating. Because it could still accumulate even though... Th oh, I heard a noise. Is it okay? Let me make sure we're turned proper. Okay, well, uh, we see the beginnings of dawn here. I don't think we retroed very much. Well, we're not too bad off. Let me finish off the fuel that we've got. We're going to come down on the dark side, unfortunately. But let's do it in a safe fashion. Okay, well that's the end of our fuel. 22 kilometers, that's good. Okay, off goes the service module. Right now we are just a pod coming back down. <laughs> yes, Kerbin without any clouds is truly a travesty. Absolutely, 100% agree. Why does it not have clouds? Mine's always has clouds. <laughs> well, most of the time. Uh oh. There's one thing I didn't account for, it's the possibility of mountains. Can you see the silhouette there? We've got some bumpiness. I hope we're not coming on to any mountains here. Should be pretty pretty close to home. Well, at least not on the opposite side of the planet. I hope it's not those mountains. You know the ones I'm talking about. Okay, yes, Sidri. Our thoughts and prayers are with you. A bleacher is melting away. I don't think we need it as much as I put on. But that's because we did the first air braking pass. We didn't come down direct. 
Okay, well actually the blader is going away quickly now. Oh, no, 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 no. Not that much. Come on. G-force is fairly mild for a re-entry. Okay, here goes the parachute. Ah, about 58 a blader left, so we have plenty more than we needed. Okay, now the question is, what sort of terrain are we landing on? Well, it's not too high. But it is land of a significant height. We're talking about 600, 700 meters. Let's get SAS on. There is some balance. Why am I not going time warp here? Oh, well, that was sudden. Okay, recover vessel. 16.2 science earned. Most importantly, Sidri gained th three points of experience to raise to level one. So he's ahead of of uh, Valentina. We're going to have to do something about that. Let's take a look at a tech tree. Okay, well, we could unlock the LV-909. Let's actually, you know what? Let's round this out. I I think we need to take care of the LV-909 contract now. And then I'm going to stop. I am going to... Going to take the fact that we managed to fly by of the moon. And I'm going to wait until tomorrow to do the rest. But I do want to complete our contracts. 4,000. I think it's going to be fine might even be a bit excessive let me check uh, this this was how much empty 0.45 empty it's 0.5 plus a 0.1 tin can full of fuel this might be overdoing it a little bit but let's try it so I'm gonna try and do that test and then we'll have to unlock the LV-909 if we want to use it again Tech tree changes are your favorite so far, not being able to see what no right, yes. Not being able to see what nodes you were unlocking was very bad. I am glad that that is solved. That was especially irritating with the realism overhaul changes to the tech tree, because realism overhaul I've got the series where we play with the RP0 tech tree. And that is really annoying when you can't see the nodes ahead. I think we carried too much fuel with us. Okay. Okay, that is done. Oh, I hope that doesn't go on to hurt anything. I wish if you tested one of the parts, you actually got them afterwards. Oh well. You know, even if you don't have the technology unlocked. Okay, full parachute deployment. It was Sidri again. I don't think anybody would have gotten any experience out of it anyway, so it's fine. I carried fuel so that we could slow down if necessary because we're carrying the engine back, but it's not much. Okay. When will I be streaming again? Probably, uh, probably starting around this time tomorrow. So, yeah. So I'm going to uh, quit right here. And around this time tomorrow... I am going to pick up where I left off. We've got 100,000 funds. We've got the possibility of unlocking one more technology. I'm not going to decide what it is right now, but I'm going to continue this tomorrow. Okay, so, uh, yep, and we have a clean slate. We don't have any contracts uh, lined up, so. All right, well, we lost Jeb, though. That's the one downside, but I'll keep plugging away at it. So, 
with that, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please do follow. And with that, I will see you tomorrow.